picture on here so i'm gonna be reviewing this one pound microwave meal or you can put in the microwave cottage pie this is from iceland at a pound they do lasagna they do pizzas everything i've done a few pizzas i might do an iceland one pound um playlist actually shortly so yeah so yeah so we've got to take a look on the package with the calories etc and then i will come back once i've done that i'm gonna be reviewing so we got to take a look um at the information on the box so iceland cottage pie for a pound of course this is your ingredients i'll leave it there so you can have a proper look There we go, just pause it if you need to. Then neutral information. This is 393 calories for this meal. Just say oven baked though, but I put mine in the microwave, so yeah. 400 grams, and this is minced beef in gravy with carrots and peas and a rehydrated potato topping. I mean, rehydrated, re sorry. Yeah, because at one time, um, I didn't know what the difference is between like a cottage pie and a shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie apparently has a lamb, where your uh, cottage has beef. So, yeah. So, this is just storage instructions, etc. GB, it says there. Um, anything else? Oh yeah, cooking instructions. Can I put it in your oven for forty minutes? I just, I just did the microwave. As you can see there. So that's what I did, microwave. So a pound for this. I don't know if they've got any smaller in like the grams. What did I say? This gram was four hundred. Am I right? Yeah, 400. I think they've been the same, so I'm not sure. So, yeah. So, I've got to take a look at it now before I get um, to review it. So, this is what it looks like. It's, be, um, it's been standing for more than a minute, you see. Um, we've just got to take a look at, um, once I do the review. So, it looks like that. I am sure... It should be up to there rather than down there. But, um, yeah, we've got to give it a test test now. So that's what it looks like. It probably would have been better in the oven to crisp it up like on the box. But I just thought to do it in microwave. So, yeah. So we've got to do a test test now and have a look. So... So yes, so you've seen like what it looks like once it was cooked and all the information. So now we've got to do the taste test. So this is um, minced beef and not lamb. Yeah, the mash is nice and creamy. To me, it don't feel um, it don't like you need any salt to me, but some of you might. But it's really nice. Reminds me of like a standard mash way put in the microwave. It's nice actually. Yeah, you definitely don't need salt for that. Now let's go into. A bit of veg. You don't really get much, but what do you expect for a quid? Well, I can see that. Look, it is, it's not that deep either, look, it's about that deep, as you can see. There's peas and carrots on. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. It's not bad. But I wish what the gravy was a bit more of like a runny consistency. See? Um, it, like, we don't need salt. I did have a little piece of crystal, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I won't say it's terrible. Um, I would, um, I would tempt to make me own, but the beyond me will probably eat it. But it means it's a bit pricey, I think, nowadays. You can't go wrong though for a quid. And I'd like, could it add roast potatoes, um, Yorkshire pudding, gravy to it if you need a to. And maybe add more veg if you want a to, if you want to make it like a bigger meal. Or you could maybe put it in a big giant Yorkshire pudding, all this, once it's cooked. I don't know. Yeah, you could maybe do that. It is nice, actually. Yeah, it doesn't need salt. Well, to me, it doesn't. <clears throat> it's quite nice. Like... I don't think that will fill some people up, of course, but what do you expect? It's not a big, big portion. Like I said, you could add extra items to it to make it a bit more of a filling meal. Would I buy this again? I would probably only buy it for me, um, but I do want to try the shepherd's pie, actually. Um, but I thought I did the shepherd's pie, and, you know, I thought I bought the shepherd's pie instead of cottage pie, but it doesn't matter. Um, yes, yeah, so next time I go to Iceland, I might try the shepherd's pie. It is a nice little comforting kind of meal. Yeah, um, it's definitely got full of flavour. Like I just said, I did taste a little bit of like a uh, gristle, but it was only on one piece. So yeah, you don't get much filling, but what do you expect? It might be better in the oven, but for 40 minutes to make it all crispy, but... Oh well, mm -hmm. it is nice. I definitely would um recommend that. Um, but like I said, just add Yorkshire puddings etc to make it more filling. <coughs> yeah, definitely thumbs up for me. Comment: Have you tried it? Have you tried it? Are you gonna try it? Do you prefer shepherd's pie or cottage pie? Um, yeah. So, um. Please consider subscribe as well. So I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye.